Samar's Insights number three. So we're going to have a look inside the cutter bar to see how the, their gears are designed. So it's very similar to a couple of common mowers in New Zealand, but you don't know what's inside the cutter bar till you have a look. So we're going to have a look in here and check out how well made they are. So here's a very simple example showing how it works. So you've got your big gears here, that's your main drive line as such. And you've got your quick change module with your little gear on that, which say slots in there. So these can turn at XYZ speed, and that's spinning a lot faster. We'll draw it on the whiteboard as well. Very basic drawing, but that's your shape of the cutter bar as such. That's your main drive line, your big gears running down your cutter bar. And then your quick change module gear slots in about here. So as you can imagine, these big gears only have to spin at a fraction of the speed of these little ones. So that's what your, your blade's connected to. Some other models, they don't have these. So your blades are connected to this big gear, so that's doing all the work. So that's a small insight into the, into the cutter bar, and we'll have a look at a video of what's actually happening inside. So I hope this video has been insightful. I guess the main point being is this gear design is very similar to some of the most common haymars on the market in New Zealand. So with your main drive line not needing to do all the work, it'll um, last a lot longer and be more efficient. Um, we've had feedback from Samar's users about how quiet the mowers are and one guy said he used half their amount of diesel in the previous mower he had used to do the same job. So watch the space for more videos and let us know if there's anything else you'd like to know about them. But we're going to cover off the module design next.